1995 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 with full steps by PCGS. As we mentioned multiple times in our videos, the full steps is a numismatic designation referring to fully struck central device elements on the back side of the nickel, the steps on Monticello porch in particular. To get that designation from coin grading service, coin must display fully delineated five or six steps. This FS specimen is sharply struck and lustrous and surfaces are void of mentionable contact marks of blemishes. It ended up selling for $1,040.62 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, die doubling is evident on the peripheral legends as well as on Jefferson's eye. The coin displays frosty, vibrant mint luster without the disruption of abrasions. A hint of pastel toning graces each side. I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $7,920. Number 2. 1953 Proof Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Coin features bold doubling of the obverse legends. Brilliant, dramatically contrasted surfaces showcase virtually flawless preservation on this top grade registry coin. It was sold for $10,200. Number 1. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 with full steps. Writing about the key 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel, Bernard Nagingus notes, Although easily found as a BU coin, most are struck from worn dies. Full strike blazers are periodically seen, but are rare. A full struck five full step coin is a major rarity, and few have been discovered. This is one of the real stoppers. This delightful gem exhibits well detailed design elements, with five full steps on Monticello and just a touch of the usual softness on the windows and Jefferson's hair. The lightly toned, lustrous surfaces are impeccably preserved and I appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $13,200. That's all folks. If you found this information helpful, please make us happy just by hitting like and subscribe buttons below this video. Have a nice day.